Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And if you're watching this on my YouTube, you're watching this after I've already gone live. So this is just a recording if you're watching it on YouTube. But feel free to comment if any of these questions or answers resonated with you. And I do plan on going live in different time zones because I am a world traveler. Um, I'll also be um, going live um, in the evening as well. For now, I am living in Pacific Standard Time, so most of the times I go live will be in the morning and the evening Pacific Standard Time. Um, but I go live every day to answer your questions. Yay, I'm so excited to connect with you guys again. Ooh, this card, you guys, we've been seeing this almost every day. And um, what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling some cards for everybody for this beautiful full moon eclipse we have in Leo. So shout out to all you guys out there who are Leos. You're probably really feeling the shift. I've been feeling really good, but I think it's because I've been making like a conscious effort to really be healthy and take care of my body and exercise and spend time in nature, meditate, whatnot. But I've learned my lesson from past eclipses and like intense um, energy shifts where like I've just been all over the place. Like I have to keep myself grounded and anchored, not only for myself, but for you guys, since I'm doing so much, many of these readings. But um, I have been feeling a little bit of shift. Um, and I think the cards that are coming out are starting to reflect what our reading is for this full moon in Leo we have today. Ooh, okay, these cards are cool. So this is saying that right now we feel stuck in this maze, like we're going around in circles and circles and we just can't get through this door. And maybe this door represents like a new job or just like the next level in your life or maybe like a home that you're trying to save up for or build or um, a new lifestyle or like a romantic partner. Um, just something you really want to change um, and break free from, like a karmic cycle, basically. And I have been feeling this whole Groundhog Day thing where like, I feel like I'm waking up to the same day, like every day. And um, I feel like the advice that's coming through is obviously like we have the freedom to create whatever we want when we wake up every day. And so we need to let that inspire us and um, you know try different things and pursue our hobbies and talents and interests and continue in the direction of our dreams and goals. Because our dreams and our goals are the compass that leads us towards our soul mission and life purpose. You know, we come here with these dreams, these desires, these visualizations, these natural talents and gifts, and we're supposed to use them in order to bring abundance and joy to our lives and also to bless others. Um, but we get stuck on this journey um, sometimes in these karmic cycles, and it's it's part of life. Um, but it's always amazing when we can break free of these old chains and these old patterns to try and embrace something new, to grow and to evolve. So this card is saying that you can't force this tree to like bloom and blossom and grow like it does in the spring when it's winter. So maybe it's not time for the cycle to break, but I do feel like there's a shift. And like that's what this whole like full moon in Leo was all about is like this shift like we're finally breaking this karmic cycle. Um, we're moving forward. The chains are falling away. Um, we're really facing our fears and um, we're getting ready for a big leap of faith. So there is this endurance card because I feel like we're not through the door yet. Like maybe we're like right here, you know, and we're about to turn this corner and finally be out and be free. But um, for now we're, we're almost there and like we need to have endurance is what they're saying through this storm and through all this energy shift. <laughs> it's very positive for us ultimately, but we're gonna be feeling this maybe in our bodies. So if you've been feeling really tired or like having a headache or just emotional, just you know, nurture yourself through this time. Like we are going through an energy shift, so you are gonna be feeling it. We all experience these shifts. So um, they're saying that now we can get our footing and look ahead to the future to see what's next and think about gathering like materials and supplies to build our nest. So it's like we're gathering the, the tools and materials we need to move to the next phase in our mission. And um, 
I see that like around the corner, like maybe when we get through this door here, which we are very soon, um, there's going to be reunions. This is the reunion card. So it's talking about a reun reunion with like your twin flame or a reunion with like your soul family, like people who can truly come into your life and be a light to you and help uplift you and um, really resonate with you on that soul level. Um, your yes people, that's what I call them. You know how in life you've got your no people and you've got your yes people? Well, these are your yes people. They support you, they uplift you. They might not be perfect but because um, everyone makes mistakes, but they're the mature people who are willing to own it and um, true family, true, true friends. And I see that's like what you're looking for and like what's coming for you. So beautiful messages for this full moon in Leo. <clears throat> I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions. So <clears throat> I'm just going to drink some water real quick. <laughs> Okay, there, much better. I just woke up, so. Um, okay, so Dip to Joshi994 says, Is there any chance to live in Dubai with my husband? <clears throat> Is there a chance? Oh. So I see the card coming out about your husband and I see that there's a struggle, like there's been this struggle between you guys. And I remember answering a question for you and your husband yesterday. And I, rem I vaguely remember like, you know, you, you mentioning a struggle. Um, so the cards are reflecting that maybe just to like tell you, like we see you and like, like continue on this path. Um, I see something about education. I don't know if that's why your husband is in Dubai. It's some sort of process or opportunity. Um, I see like this like happiness he has there. Um, and I see that like you want to be with him and share this experience with him. So I'm seeing like you need to spend time visualizing how you're going to make this happen. Um, I see that there's been signs from the universe to you about you and your husband and like maybe going to be with him and they're telling you to like honor the signs and like realize there's been signs coming through. The angels are looking over the situation. I see um, a lot of compassion coming through for you. Um, I see some forgiveness that needs to happen between you and your husband. I see there have been fights, um, but I just think the fights have been because of the separation and because of that tension. And um, they're saying to believe and like trust in your truth. Um, you have the power in this situation. Um, I do see you, you've been feeling a little jaded when it comes to love and just kind of um, like just very concerned about the situation. But they're saying allow yourself to be vulnerable with your husband and tell him how you feel and be honest about how much of a struggle this has been and I do see a way for you guys to be able to work this out um, and I, I feel like you can manifest this you can manifest whatever you want it just takes visualization and the willing to stick with it so um, I hope that you and your husband are united again in Dubai I'm sending you so much love and light peace out <laughs> so Melibon PM what's next for me in love I have no clue on what to do I don't know if giving people a chance anymore since I've been with karmic soulmates. Oh gosh, I know what that's like being with karmic soulmate after karmic soulmate and you're wondering like, where is my soulmate? Where is my twin? Um, what's coming out for you is something about like, like this blockage you've, you know what? I'm feeling like this side of you that's actually like a hopeless romantic. And um, there's this side of you that really wants to be like swept off your feet, head over heels in love. And none of these people have been really measuring up to those standards. And I feel like that's the question you're wondering if you should lower your standards. And the, the answer is absolutely not. Don't lower your standards because I do feel like there is great love coming to you. And I want to I feel into that. Like who is this person that's coming into her situation? Who is this next soulmate? Okay, so I do see you, um, I do see you in a long separation, like there's been a delay between you meeting this person, and I just feel like um, it's because of the healings and the clearings that have been happening on both ends. Um, I feel like this person is going to be very attracted to you, and like there's already this magnetic attraction, and I feel you guys getting closer. They're saying, um, 
you guys will be getting to know each other um, very soon. Like, I feel like this energy of someone coming into your life. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw some more cards about it. Ooh, true love. <laughs> that just came out. <laughs> so they're saying, like, the next person you're going to meet will be the romance of a lifetime. And it's really funny. I have people come to me all the time freaking out. And I always tell them the most chaos happens right before your dreams come true. It's always darkest before the dawn. Um, as cliche as it sounds, like, the most resistance happens before a big breakthrough. So you're about to have a big breakthrough. You know, you're about to panic and freak out. And it's, it's taking you to this surrender point. And once you get there, bam. Like you're going to attract what you want. And, um, it's so funny. Like I try to manifest something and like the second I forget about it, it manifests every single time. And it's like so frustrating because like I try so hard just to just like allow and like be like accepting and to just be open, but it's like super hard. I, I find myself worrying and analyzing and overthinking and stressing out. And I feel like that's just human nature. You know, we have that side of our brains, that reptilian part of our brain that's always scanning the horizon for danger. So we have, that's what being conscious is about is like keeping that part of yourself and keeping your ego in check, knowing when, um, knowing when those fears are coming up and being able to like confront them and like accept them and embrace them and address them, but also like tell yourself the truth. Cause I feel like the truth is like what, what, what you seek is seeking you. Like if you want true love, like it's coming to you in your life. And I feel like you're manifesting this, like the cards are reflecting it. It's beautiful. Like, you know, so believe in true love, put your, put your hand on your heart and like tell yourself, like remind yourself that like, I believe in love and like true love is coming for me and like just be open for it and it, it'll hit you when you least expect it. Look, they're saying your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, um, you know, it's normal to feel jaded sometimes when it comes to love. And my message today was all about feeling jaded. And it was my message today in my stories. Um, so feel free to watch my Instagram stories after this because I have like a 15 second card reading I did. And it was saying that the cure to feeling jaded is allowing yourself to be vulnerable. So um, why not just allow yourself to be vulnerable right now and like admit yourself the truth that you are looking for love and um, you know, maybe you're disappointed, but it's okay. You know, you're, the world is going to prove you otherwise when this person comes into your life and you're going to look back and like, remember how jaded you felt and just be like, oh wow, like maybe that was something you had to go through. You know, it's something you're learning from. It won't make sense until retrospect, but, um, what's coming out on the cards for you is telling you that it's okay to have romantic feelings and like believe in true love because it's out there for you and it's coming. So any more messages about your true love that is coming? Aw, they're like, stay dedicated. They're like, you might have tried dating that fuck boy and dating that fuck boy. You tried dating that fuck boy. But you're just going to have to um, try something different, like a different approach, like a more creative approach. I see you being fulfilled. These are like the two kundalini snakes that like talks about twin flames or like soulmates union. So beautiful. Um, I see that what you're going through right now, this is part of your dark night of the soul. This is part of like your awakening. You're really confronting your shadow. You're confronting your fears. And I do see this grief, but um, I don't know. This is something we all go through in life. Like keep going through this process. It's going to lead you somewhere beautiful. So I hope that this message lifts your spirits and helps you know that, oh, look, <laughs> true love is coming for you. Yay. <laughs> I love my cards so much. <laughs> so essential nature would like a message from spirit. Okay, how about we do it from my angel deck? Essential nature, what is your message? Essential nature. So first you're getting the surrender card. So we were just talking about surrender. So surrender doesn't mean giving up. It doesn't mean letting go of your control. It just means being open. It's more about like chilling out and just like being open. It's being open to the infinite solutions because the inner, 
<laughs> the internet. <laughs> well, I feel like the universe and the internet are very similar in a way. Um, there are infinite solutions that can be generated at any time. You know, you basically just broadcast your problem out to the universe, almost like typing something into Google and bam, like there's all these solutions that can come up. And, but the universe has this ability to pick the best one for you. And, um, that's something I'm starting to realize. And, um, it's really beautiful and miraculous when you look back, um, at your path and at all the different things you've been through and at all the solutions that have been generated. Um, obviously you're co-creating with the universe. So you're helping create some of these things, um, in your life, obviously through your thoughts, your feelings, your intentions, and your actions. Um, but there are some things that happen in your life that are totally out of your control, and that's the universe, you know? And um, and I feel like you're, you need to surrender and realize that, like, as equally as, like, bad, th- quote-unquote, bad things can come and just happen to you in your life, that's, like, good things can also just randomly come and happen in your life. And I feel like people forget to calculate for that. Everyone's always worried about, like, the bad things. But, like, why not, like, expect the good things? Because, like, that happens too. And, like, the bad things, you can just take that and turn it into a blessing. So don't worry about it. the bad things. You're in control of that too. You can take that and turn it into a blessing. And um, expect the good things. Like, why not put more focus on, like, ooh, like, what, what, what good thing's going to happen? Like, we don't do that, though, do we? <laughs> So um, it's like, try to shift your thinking a little bit here. Surrender and think like, wow, like what good thing could happen in this situation? I wonder like what the universe is going to do. They're going to, that's, that's the point I got to where I was like, well, have you guys ever been so screwed that you've been like, well, the universe is just going to have to generate me a solution out of this because I'm totally fucked and there's like no other way, you know? How many of you guys remember being saved by the universe, like from a crazy situation, Um, I have multiple times and that's what's built my faith, you know, that's why I'm preaching it here because I have a lot to be thankful for. Like I am blessed and I know you guys are. So this is part of, part of surrendering is like remembering and acknowledging your blessings and like expecting blessings. So, um, they're wanting you to, oh, and I'm getting your comments right now, essential nature. And I love that like this is resonating with you. Um, I see now, like now that you surrender, you can shift your focus back to your dreams and your inspiration. And that's the beautiful thing that surrender does is it creates space for you to be able to focus on what's really important, which is this, um, moving forward with your dreams, with your soul mission, with your life purpose, with expressing yourself and your energy and just grounding your energy down into the 3d being who you are. You're here to be you and be who you are. So I feel like you need to um, remember to look around for inspiration and think like, what do I want to create in my life? You know, what do I want to create today? What what am I creating in like the, the bigger picture, you know, for my life? So it's like a big question, you know, it's time to ask yourself some big questions, but um, allow yourself just to be inspired. You know, I decided, I got inspired and decided, you know, why not start this YouTube channel, <laughs> you know, whatever, like it, it's, it's fun for me and I love it. I love that I'm connecting with you guys right now. Um, so, you know, get inspired and do something fun with your time here on earth. I see this obedience. I feel like this is what you're stuck in. Like you're stuck into this obedience. You feel very obedient to society. Like you just need to fall in line, do your job, come home. You're looking around like, what is everyone else doing? And just kind of falling in line with that. And I did that for so long. Like there's something about society that just makes you want to fall in line. I don't know. I'm in America. Maybe it's different where you live. Maybe it's worse. Maybe it's better. I don't know. Um, All that glitters is not gold over here. I'll tell you guys that. (laughs) But um, I remember feeling just very obedient to like, I don't know, because like everybody like goes to work at the same time here and everybody comes home from work at the same time and everybody goes to sleep and everybody watches the same TV shows and everybody eats the same food. And it's just like, you just, there's like this pressure to just like fall in line. And, um, I, I felt like choosing a different job cause I'm an artist, you know, I'm a fashion stylist. I'm a, a tarot reader. I felt like really weird to like step out of that and like get inspired and like try something different with my time here. So you don't have to fall in line with society. Um, some people like to, to, to choose a traditional lifestyle and that's okay. Choose whatever resonates with you. Some people like choose a line of work in the system that works well for them. And, um, I actually really enjoyed my job in the system for a while, but, um, 
it's just for you, I feel like this is what's blocking you from getting inspiration. Like when you come home, you're always used to like doing this one thing instead of like pulling out a piece of paper and drawing or something like that. (laughs) So they're just saying like kind of break that obedience you have to society and um, get inspired and surrender. So I hope that that message resonates. The messages that are coming through today are like so deep, you guys, but I know it's because it is this um, full moon eclipse (laughs) we're having. By the way, I have my selenite wand with me, and I wanted to gift all of you guys for free a quick healing. Um, So I'm just going to activate the healing in this selenite wand, and all you guys have to do is just look at the screen and take deep breaths, and you might feel a tingling in your third eye or in your heart chakra because those are areas I'm focusing on cleaning that need to be cleaned because of our full moon experience. Wonderful. So just take deep breaths and I'm clearing you guys. There we go. Wonderful. I feel better now too. So Brandy Harrelson... What do your angels want you to know about this year? Let's go ahead and pull from the angel deck. Aww. (laughs) The only card that flew out was peace. How sweet is that? So first of all, they're like, don't freak out about this year. It's going to be a lot more chill than 2017. I feel like everybody entering into 2018, which is like, um, do we really want to cross this threshold? Do we really want, is this going to get better or worse? <laughs> and I feel like it's getting better. These first couple of months have been a little shaky, but trust me guys, by the spring, summer, everyone's going to be loving it. The energy is shifting. And, um, I feel like this full moon we're having is part of that shift. So, um, your year is going to be peaceful Um, they're telling you to have faith, which is so beautiful. Um, I see communication coming through. I don't know if this is, um, like you're waiting on communication from a specific person, perhaps like, um, like a twin flame or something like that. Um, it could be something like that, or this communication card could be talking about like the angels have been trying to communicate with you and have been trying to send you signs about moving forward. Um, I just was talking about, um, the inspiration card, which is very similar to the imagination card, but this is talking about you spending this year visualizing like how you want to spend the rest of your life. Cause I feel like you're at this place, like this, um, big, I just, I feel like this big shift in your life where things are really changing to where you need to spend some time planning, like where you want to go next. It's like you completed something like a cycle and like you get to decide what the next one's going to be. So I feel like that's kind of what this year is. So they're saying in the meantime, have peace. Um, it's not like this year is going to be uneventful for you. Um, it's just, they're wanting you to have faith because, um, you need to spend the time, um, creating what you want next. So I hope that that message helps for you. Hey guys, what's up? Okay, Glam Tope, can you please tell me will and when will my crush tell me his feelings? Will your crush tell you his feelings? Well, I'm not sure if it'll be soon because the first card I got is worth waiting for. (laughs) But that is a positive message. Um, I see the chemistry you and your crush have together. They're saying there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So worth waiting for in chemistry. Um, And then I'm getting the separation card reversed. So what I'm seeing is is there is a slight delay on this coming together. I think this person needs more encouragement because the flirt card's coming up. They're saying, allow, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So you're needing to flirt with this person more and like try to like see like if you can get this chemistry going a little bit more. Um, and they're saying, give your relationship a chance. So I'm seeing very, very positive messages about this for you. Like it's not rare, but... I mean, I've been pulling the release the X card a lot. I've been pulling cards that are like saying codependency and healing family issues for people. And I, and so, um, when I get a reading like this, 
it's telling me that this person feels it. They just need a little bit more encouragement. It might not be like tomorrow that you guys are hooking up, but it could be in a couple weeks. So um, yeah, see what happens. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, um, the February 6th, I'm going to pick a card for you from my Wildwood deck. Okay, February 6th. Okay, I see a couple things going on here. I feel like your financial situation like isn't where you want it to be. I feel like there have been perhaps overdrafts in your bank account or like just a situation where you're not comfortable with where things are. Um, and I feel like it's been rough for you because this has been your focus, you know, like on survival. Your focus has been on survival a lot. So you haven't been able to focus on your creativity, but they're telling you that your creativity is actually the, the gateway to you leaving this all behind. Um, there might be some ways for you to make money through your creativity even, um, or at least it'll help boost your energy and lift your vibe up. So it's easier for you to magnetically attract money because remember everything is energy. So if you're in that low vibe of lack mentality, it's going to be difficult to manifest money and, um, Learning how to manifest money is actually what got me like out of my lack mentality. I was like, I need money so bad that like I I found a way. Like I researched the law of attraction and started learning how to work with it. And um, I learned about how like everything was a mindset, and money was energy, and I was like, oh shit! Like I'm all depressed all the time, and like I'm all freaking out all the time, and like how am I going to like get out of this, you know? Cause you can't just overnight force yourself to be happy. Like you can't be fake positive. So part of it is first just being honest about your feelings and honest with yourself. Like I feel like shit, like I'm broke or whatever, you know, <laughs> whatever it is that you need to like admit to yourself, just admit it. And, um, and then, you know, find creative ways to get out of it. For me, the creative way to get out of the situation for myself was um, learning about the law of attraction. You know, I spent a lot of time painting and then like chanting affirmations because I, I, I was like, why not just like put on this brainwashing thing while I paint and see if it works. And um, I used, they have all these crazy like brainwash yourself into... <laughs> like getting more money things on YouTube. I feel so embarrassed like admitting all of this, but then I'm not really embarrassed anymore because now I have money and it, like, it worked. So, um, you know, affirmations help, um, visualization, meditation, um, yeah, getting creative, finding creative ways to bring in money instead of just depending on the man, you know, maybe making your own job, maybe becoming your own boss, maybe writing a book, you know, maybe you're going to write a bestseller, um, like counting on yourself, believing in yourself, doubling down on your gifts and talents. Um, they're saying you're protected and you're safe. There's greater forces at work in your life. And we forget about that sometimes that there's like this greater force at work uh, in our lives. And it can be a little intimidating sometimes, but um, not so much when you realize that the force is in our favor, that it's a part of us, that it's a loving force. So I see this need for you to stay grounded, ground yourself in that knowing that all is love, all is well, the truth that there's something bigger at work here in your life. And they're telling you um, that you're going to be fulfilled, which is so beautiful. Like you're going to be happy. You're going to be fulfilled like this um, you're going to be fulfilled through your creativity. You're going to get out of this situation. And, um, I see that you just need to stay dedicated to your path and not give up. So I hope that that message helps you. These full moon readings, you guys, these full, I'm like trying to be all casual. I'm like, are you sure you want to ask me a question today? Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Katie Barados. Should I make the first move or should I wait on him to do something? Wait, is he actually interested in me? <laughs> okay. Is he interested in you? Ooh, I see you guys having a heart to heart conversation. I see you I, I see you guys having some kind of DTR. Um so this is coming. I'm going to ask, should you make the first move or should you wait on him? 
Should you make the first move? Should you wait on him? Wait, I think that goes over there. Should you wait on him? Should you wait on him? Hmm. I don't know. I have a feeling like there's something going on with the timing. Like maybe right now with the energy, this could not be coming together. Maybe like this month is not a good month. You know what I mean? Maybe this week is a bad week. Maybe like a couple weeks from now, the energy is going to shift and this will come together. Because what I'm seeing is that if you make a move, um, there's something going on with finances and career and with one or both of you. And this has been a huge highlight. You guys can tell I've been drawing so many cards and giving so many people tips on manifestation lately when it comes to money. Um, and, um, I just feel like a lot of people are experiencing this in the collective right now. And so, um, when you're feeling insecure about this, it's hard to like bring a relationship together. Like it's just interesting how, um, finances and career kind of, and your love situation can kind of be tied together. Sometimes this can be a blockage. I do see someone from your past returning to your life. So I'm wondering, like, maybe this is just saying that like you guys, um, You've known each other from a past life or something like that. Um, I'm seeing let your friends help you. Like there's telling you to ask your friends what they think and to get their opinions if you haven't already. Always trust your opinion. Um, and also like everybody hopefully doesn't, but everyone's got that one friend that's like a naysayer and that's just like always gonna put you down. Like try not to hang around people like that and don't ask that friend for help. <laughs> that's just a heads up, but um. I see like ask friends that are trustworthy that like are positive and like see what they have to say about the situation. Um, they're saying if for some reason you wait that there's going to be this retreat, like you guys are going to be kind of disconnected for a little bit trying to figure this out. Um, I do see there is a very, very strong attraction between you and this person. So yes, I do see eventually you guys are going to have this conversation. There's this a attraction here, but right now there's like a red flag for this moving forward. And I feel like this is the red flag. I mean, I got finances and career reversed. Um, and I'm seeing there's a delay on you guys being able to express your love to each other. So it's not a bad thing. It's just like a timing thing. So let me see what the universe has to say. Let me just shuffle that in a little bit better. Let me see what this deck has to say about your advice. Like, what should you do, Katie? They're saying wait until the foundation is a little bit firmer for both of you guys. So wait until your foundation is just a little bit firmer. Um, you'll feel an energy shift. I feel like you're you're very clairvoyant and like you're very energy sensitive. And like, I feel like you'll know when it's the right time. Um, I do see like you need to be very patient. This is the patience card. But this is also talking about a long lasting relationship. The heron stands for like commitment and patience. So I do see like this commitment coming through. Um, I'm seeing like the fox is the problem solver. So I see like the problem being solved here. Um, I just, I feel like maybe it's him. Like there's something going on with him right now where like he's not able to move forward in this. And like I said, it's not personal. It's just like a timing thing. Um, I see this reunion. I see this connection. Um, I feel like you're going to get what you want in this situation. You're just kind of having to like be patient and kind of wait right now. So um, definitely keep me posted on this. I hope that answers your questions. Sometimes it's not always like a simple yes or no, you know? Uh, Vanessa says, I love my daily affirmations. They make me feel happy. Awesome. So, Hina Khan, a card for your marriage. Actually, I want to pull from this deck. Aw, 
Hina Khan, I pulled this card earlier, but I'll explain it to you again. This card is saying that the snow is thawing and you're able to grab your footing to look ahead to see what the future has for you and like think about nesting. So this could mean that you and your um, your partner will be moving to a new home or thinking about like what's next, you know, for you guys in the partnership. So I, I do think maybe moving moving is going to come in the future with you guys. And um, I also see like you guys have this beautiful relationship where you guys are like mentors to each other. You guys are like each other's guides, like you guys teach each other. And I see that you guys are learning a lot right now in your relationship, to say the least. Maybe there's a little bit of stress, but I'm seeing that you guys are really close. Just focus on the fact that like it, things are getting better, because they are. Things are getting better, I feel that. And there is change coming for you guys. So I hope that that message helps. Hi, Day Shiva. Sorry, I feel like I said that wrong, but I hope you're doing well. P.S. Any of you guys out there that are waiting for a personal reading, I'm doing personal readings again all day today and all day tomorrow, so you should be getting yours soon. I am a day or two behind because I had a lot of people purchasing readings, more than I expected, but um, my schedule is now, um, I just have a couple people left on my list, so... That means, though, that I am free. So if you guys would like some uh, reading like this weekend or towards the end of this week, hit me up. Um, my love readings are on sale right now. My love readings are usually $44.44, but right now they're on sale for $33.33. So hit me up if you guys would like a love reading or any other kind of reading. I do talents and gifts readings. I answer just about any questions you have. Um, similarly to how I do um, here in this live recording, except I record you a private video and it has music and um, it's very relaxing and we just pull the cards and um, give you the uplifting messages. So um, hit me up, DM me or email me and I'll get back to you. So Swati Solomon, pull a card for you. Let's go ahead and pull you some from the angel deck. Change is coming for you. Wow, so I do feel this energy of change around you. I feel like you're bored, Swati Solomon. I feel like you're kind of bored. You're at this place in your life where you're bored and they're telling you, you need some change. And look at laughter. <laughs> laughter is the second card that I pulled. Um, it's hard for me to see this word and not laugh. <laughs> see? Um, it's just, this is what you need. You need to bring the laughter and the bliss back to your life and like that lighthearted energy back. So um, they're, they're asking you a question like, what fulfills you? What fulfills you? What makes you laugh? What, what puts you in that happy place? And can, obviously doing this for me, like tarot, um, reading for people, connecting with others, this puts me in my happy place. You guys are always like, wow, you're so happy. I'm like, because I'm an Aquarius and I'm hanging out with people that are awesome, that are on my vibe. And you guys are legit. <laughs> so do what you love, you know, find a way to connect with others and do what you love and share it. You know, we weren't meant to be alone. We're here to connect you guys. There's so many people here on this earth. Like, we're meant to connect. It seems a bit obvious. So find a way to do what you love. And um, okay, Taylor, I'll answer Deborah's question after this. <laughs> um, anyways, yes, definitely you need to figure out what fulfills you. I see you just kind of going with the flow right now, figuring out like what you like to do. They're telling you you need to actually do something. This means sign up for that pottery class or for that gym class or go like start going on hikes or something like get out there and like do something to stir up your creative energy to take care of yourself to get out of your routine to break the mold just anything the littlest thing that breaks your routine can have the biggest effect on your life it's just amazing what just the little things can do. So um, make little changes like a walk in the morning or a cup of tea in the evening. Just start, you know, meeting your needs, taking good care of yourself and figuring out like what path you want to start down. I see you, you know, going through this huge transformation. Um, 
there is a lot of validation coming out for you. It's like, um, you've worked really hard is what I feel like. It's almost like the universe is trying to say like, yeah, you've worked hard and you haven't really gotten any recognition for that. And like, this is the recognition. Um, but nurturing keeps coming out. That's why I was talking about, you know, having a cup of tea or going on a walk. Just, I feel like you need to steal little moments back from your day because you're working so hard for other people. So they're saying the time is now to figure out what path you want to take. I feel like you need to take a path for yourself, something that's going to fulfill you and make you happy. It's reminding me like the crossroads I was at before I decided like, okay, I'm going to be a fashion stylist because I knew I wanted to do something to express myself and I wanted to try a different line of work. Maybe it's a different line of work. Maybe it's a hobby. Maybe it's just like putting more exercise or more play into your day. But they're saying it's time to make changes. Um, you know, for your best and for your good. So I hope that that message helps you. Okay, I'm just shuffling these back into the deck. And then I'm going to answer Taylee's friend's question because she's new here. <laughs> okay, I'm scrolling up. There's been a lot of comments. Okay, okay. Okay, Rainbow, can I ask for a card for my relationship with my friend Deborah? She's new here and she adores you. Okay, awesome. You and your friend Deborah. I see this beautiful balance between you guys, which is really cool. Like you guys help balance each other out and it might have something to do with like the different energies you guys have and like the different medicines that you guys bring to each other. And um, I really wish I had my medicine cards on me. I don't. Um, let's see what else I can pull for your relationship with Debbie. Aw, I feel like you guys are on this path together for a reason. They're saying stay dedicated for this relationship. I feel like it's in your life to help. You guys are there to help be the catalyst for each other's greatest good, to help balance each other, nurture each other, heal each other. I feel this really beautiful um, connection you guys have together and they want you to stay dedicated to it. So that's good. We're not getting like the death card or like the breakup card or like <laughs> anything like that. I'm seeing like continue on this path. Like you guys, you know, continue to, Inspire, uh, inspire each other and harmonize each other and uplift each other and heal each other. I just feel light around this relationship and um, I feel the divine connection. I feel like you guys are soulmates because um, soulmates are, can also be like your friend or your coworker, or your child or your whatever, you know. So um, I see the soulmate relationship and that you guys are from the same soul family for sure. <laughs> and I'll pull a card for Debbie real quick. Debbie, this card is for you. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad that you're here. Um, Debbie, I see you going on a new path. I see you um, taking a leap into the unknown and um, starting over, like starting something new. So I hope that resonates with you, Debbie. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, just pull maybe one or two, but I'm going to upload this on my YouTube after. And also, some of you guys have been wondering, where is my weekly reading? Well, I'm finally going to do my weekly reading today, even though the week is like half over. I've just been really busy with personal readings. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I love being busy. Um, my bank account loves it. Um, I love it. The channel loves it because I've been able to use this funding to buy more equipment. And I'm super close to buying a laptop, you guys, to have better quality videos. So please buy readings from me because I'm like super close. Um, but yes, I've been very busy. And so um, I just appreciate everyone's patience. And um, look, this is coming out. This is a card of like a gathering. And I feel like this is what we're doing right now. We're all gathered around... We're all supporting and uplifting each other. There's a lot of good vibes here. And so how about we all <clears throat> type in together like something inspiring, okay? Type in an inspiring message for the person who comments above you. So type it in and then look at the message that's above you and then that's your message, okay? Are you guys ready? Let's all do a reading for each other, okay? Type in like an inspired message 
and then hit send and then look at the message that's above you and that's your message, okay? And for the pers- per- first person who writes and doesn't have a message, because I know someone's going to hear, I'll start it. I'll start it. For the first person who just wrote, who didn't get a message, this is your message. You're going to be fulfilled, okay? The first person who started this train, you're going to be fulfilled. So is everyone doing this? Right now what we're doing is we're typing in an inspiring message and you type it in and then you look at the message that's above you and that's your message, okay? I'm going to type one in. Yay. Yay, everybody type it in. Awesome. This is so cool. I love all these messages. I'll pull a couple more cards after this. Don't worry. So don't ask any questions right now. I'll, I'll answer them later. Right now, what we're doing is ever just keep going. Type in more if you want. Type in whatever you're, you're inspired to write. And whatever message is above you is your message. Yay, my message is from Emily Rain. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That was so perfect for me, Emily. Thanks. Pages by Nika says, keep your chin up. Arturier says, you are artistic. Queen V says, think positive. (laughs) Anoush Kapriam says, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Nina says, love cures everything. Monica says, inspiration comes to those who dare to look for it. Astra Dragonfly says, enjoy a laugh. Amalia says, very soon. Twin Flame Propel 11 says, there is a blue in the sky that might not look as beautiful as the hues, but everything will get better and you will come out with flying colors. Ooh, that's so deep. Enjoy the moment. Okay, so what we're doing right now, if you just joined, everybody's writing an inspiring message. You type it in, and then you look at the message that's above you to get your reading. So we're all participating and doing a reading for each other. We're going to do this for about one more minute, and then we'll stop it. So just type in a couple more. Yay! Type in a few more. Yay! You guys are awesome. Pages by Nika says, you are strong. Vanessa says, love comes from within. Kitty QT says, do what you love. Yay! All right, guys. We're going to end this part of our broadcast. (laughs) And I'm going to take a couple more questions. Thank you so much for participating in that. I hope you guys loved that. And you were able to get a beautiful message that was for you. Thanks for helping channel messages. Um, I'm going to clear you guys now. Since some of you guys participated in channeling, it's always good to clear your energy. Even if you're just saying something kind to someone or like an uplifting message. I always, you know, clear your energy. Get grounded again. Touch something and rub your hands together. I'm teaching you guys little tricks on how to channel, huh? (laughs) Okay, I'm taking questions again. I'm going to do one or two more before I end this. So, um, oh, that was so fun. Eighteenth July, nineteen ninety-three says, "Hey, can I get a sign? Will writing my book help me to reach my love?" Well, in answer to your question, um, I feel like writing your book is going to help attract love into your life. I feel like doing what you love and acting in your unique and your authentic vibration helps open up your energy to be able to receive what it is that you've asked for. Like doing what you love, establishing ease for yourself, having fun. And so writing the book would definitely help, I feel. Um, But let's see. Let's ask the cards. Aww. The first card I'm getting for you is it is safe for you to love. 
But next I'm seeing pay attention to the red flags. I'm seeing that like there's been this unrequited love with you and this person and you guys have been in this retreat for a while. Like you guys have been disconnected and it's really been tearing you apart. And so they're saying free yourself. You know, it's the whole like if you love something, let it go. But for real, I'm seeing you need to let this go because I feel like it's going to be difficult for you to write the book with this person on your mind so much. You know, they're saying don't give so much of your energy away to this person. You know, if you love this person, just send them love and light and create healthy space um, for this to be able to generate if it's meant to. And I feel like that's the message I'm getting for you. So I hope that that resonates. Let's pull you one more card for your book, though, from the angels. Do they have any encouragement for you and your book? Hmm. They're saying um, definitely to have hope and courage. Like you're going to have to have courage to write this book because I feel like you're going to have to be very vulnerable. Like the subject matter of the book is very vulnerable. But they're saying step into wholeness and allow your dreams to come true. I feel like this is the path for you. So congrats on writing your book. Um, I feel like kind of a hypocrite giving someone advice on writing their book when I, I have 54 pages and I haven't touched my book in like two months, <laughs> but I'm going to do it. I'm going to write my book. <laughs> so um, I saw someone who was sweet enough to ask, um, why don't I do a pick a card reading for anyone that's here? So why not? Let's do a pick a card reading for love. Because I, I see a lot of love questions. So um, I'm gonna, you're going to pick one, two, or three, okay? So I'm going to shuffle these off camera so that you guys don't see the cards in case they fly out. <laughs> one, two. I'm going to upload this on my YouTube after as well. So if you got a message and you didn't catch it or you want to watch this again later then um, we can do that. So this is a pick a card reading for love. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold in your mind whatever question you have when it comes to love. And keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it might not answer your questions as much as a personal reading would. But um, I've heard that these are still very accurate. Um, I have one pick a card reading. It was actually the first one I ever did. It, it's gone viral and it has over a hundred thousand views now and lots of comments of everyone saying like it's super legit. So that's awesome. I'm like so thankful for that. Um, I, I had no idea that this is really going to help people on that level and I'm stoked. So I hope this helps you guys. Number one, two or three, one, two or three, which one resonates with you? One, two or three. Here's number one. So I feel like if you pick number one, they're saying someone from your past is returning to your life. So I definitely see reconciliation. And especially since we got this card upright, um, I definitely see someone returning from your past. Maybe this person already has. Um, I'm seeing that you need to get out of the sticky situation. This is because I'm seeing finances and career are really impacting this relationship. It's like one or both of you is stuck in like a toxic work environment. And I've been stuck in a toxic work environment before, and that will take over your entire life. It's crazy like how it gets in your head and like you just like turn into another person. It's just intense. <laughs> so I feel like one of you guys or maybe both of you guys needs to like slither out of that situation and become more of a leader so you can kind of get out of the situation. If that doesn't apply um, and that doesn't make sense to you, maybe it's just like for some reason someone's not comfortable with where they're at. And we've been talking about this a lot today. I feel like this is a topic with this full moon in Leo is like people being able to transform this situation, being able to take back their power and control and manifest what they want into their life, you know? So I feel like you guys are on this path and especially because this is a positive card talking about getting out of a sticky situation. Um, it might not be that this person comes back right away, but I am seeing that they will return and um, it's very interesting. I hope that resonates with you. Number two, 
I see. Oh, I got the yes card. So if you, if your question was a yes or no question, then the answer is yes, because this is the yes card. It's the sun. It's the most positive um, card in the whole deck. Um, and it, we're also getting true love. So maybe you were just wondering, like, what is this person? Or maybe this is just coming out as a confirmation that, like, to keep on keeping on with this relationship because I do see like this being like they're saying this is the romance of a lifetime so it's like this yes card so I hope that that resonates and um number three I'm seeing that um there's this delay there's a delay here um it's like someone in the relationship really wants to make an effort but hasn't been able to yet, um, either because of fear or because of timing. And, um, but I do see like, they're saying you're going to have to be very, very, very patient because these herons stand for patience and there's three of them. And I'm seeing that like, there's a couple moon cycles that need to happen before this can solidify. But I do see this relationship coming together. I do see a union here. So, um, I'm hoping that that resonates. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm reading back over your comments now. Let's see. People are saying, yep. Oh, I saw one frown face. Sorry. That must have been number one or something. I try to, I try to like be completely honest with these readings, you guys. I'm not one of those readings that's just like, everything's going to be fine. Yay. I mean, I'm very positive in nature, but I'm going to be real with you guys when I'm seeing something. Yay, thanks. <laughs> you guys are saying like you appreciate my realness. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Well, you guys, my third eye is tapped out. I'm actually going to go work out. And then I have a lot of personal readings to do today. So stay tuned. Uh, check your emails. Um, you will get your personal readings. And if you would like a personal reading, then hit me up. Um, I can send you my prices. My prices are really affordable. I've been to psychics. I've purchased readings from psychics here on the internet. And I'm trying to keep my, my um, prices fair and competitive um even though my husband is always like you need to raise your prices because you're so busy i'm like i don't know i'm just i'm not feeling it yet so apologies i haven't gotten your readings to you um maybe they're a day or two late but this is so i don't have to raise my prices <laughs> so i'm loving you guys i appreciate your patience i appreciate your support and um i will be hitting you guys soon with those personal readings peace out